Tesla CEO Elon Musk has been facing a lot of delays in Open Giga Berlin due to the challenges from the environmental groups, delays in the approved process by regional and national agencies, and the carmaker's own revisions to the plans have become a headache for him. It seems like Musk may be coming to the realization that he made a mistake opening a gigafactory in Germany. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Elon Musk Evolution, where we tell you all the latest news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies. In today's video, we are going to talk about why Giga Berlin has become a headache for Elon Musk, and why the CEO feels humiliated after choosing Germany over the UK. If you want to find out more, then stay with us until the end of the video. Also, before we start the video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos. And let's get started. A couple of months ago, Elon Musk had flown to Germany to announce that the new battery factory will be established near Berlin very soon. According to sources, Tesla had plans of investing 5 billion euros in the lithium-ion battery plant, with a decision on whether the government will tip in 1 billion towards it. Elon Musk announced that his battery factory in 2020, saying that it will be one of the biggest battery plants in the world with 250 gigawatt hour capacity. However, not everyone is happy about the new factory. Although Tesla is pumping a lot of money on the project and scoring Europe for workers, there are some groups of locals who are opposing the project on environmental grounds, saying that it will pollute the water. I would tell him to stop building electro cars, but rather fly to Mars, said Manu Hoyer, one of the leaders of the locals. To this, Musk responded that the factory will use relatively little water, and the battery cell production at the site will be sustainable, according to James Morris, the editor of niche electric vehicle publication, Which EV? You do have to wonder if Elon Musk is considering it a rather bitter pill dealing with the bureaucracy that he has faced setting up the Gigafactory in Berlin. Even when the plant opens, this is likely to continue, looking at past history in Europe. Perhaps as the EV market continues to grow, local UK manufacturing would end up back on the table. Brexit or no Brexit, the UK is still a very lucrative automotive market after all. Mr. Musk has already vented his frustration on Twitter over the delays reacting angrily several times, including the most recent, which came after activists called for another round of discussions before the plant can open. Musk told trade magazine Auto Express in 2019 that uncertainty over the UK's decision to withdraw from the EU made it too risky to establish its European battery facility in the country. He added that his decision to build Giga Berlin was influenced by Germany's strong track record in engineering. However, a number of EU acts were influential in shaping the system of environmental law in Germany, which has caused delays over concerns about water usage and pollution. In addition, the UK has been the preferred location for the manufacturing of non-European car brands in the past, as it had direct access to the EU, but with looser labor laws, which is not the case with Germany. That is why various Japanese brands like Toyota allegedly selected the UK as the perfect spot for the manufacturing base. Furthermore, UK also has its own supplies of lithium, a crucial component in most rechargeable battery chemistries, and companies in the UK have claimed that there will be enough local lithium to power the entire UK EV fleet. This is another reason which is making Musk regret his decision to build Giga Berlin in the first place. But despite everything, why is this new battery factory in Berlin needed in the first place? Tesla is currently relying on other companies for its batteries as it has received the lithium-ion battery cells from a Japanese company called Panasonic. Elon Musk is a strong believer of the in-house production rather than depending too much on the suppliers outside, which is another reason why CEO has taken a step toward the production of its own batteries. The CEO of Panasonic, Kazuhiro Tsuga, has stated that his own firm will run out of batteries if Tesla keeps on expanding with the same pace. According to reports, Tesla has given $3.1 million to a legendary battery researcher, Dr. Jeff Don. The company has maintained a long relationship of research with him since the year 2016 by signing a five-year research contract with him. This contract has been renewed again this year for another five years. Tesla wrote about this funding in a statement. We are thrilled for our work with Delahousse, Dr. Jeff Don, Dr. Chanyin Yang, and Dr. Michael Metzger. We are excited and look forward to their important contributions in battery technology to help achieve our mission. Now let's discuss what other complications are being faced by Tesla to open this factory. The German Ministry of Economics reportedly gave Musk the green light to start making preparations in early 2021, with the project ruled eligible for European Union's 2.9 billion euro European battery innovation project. 
Shortly after this announcement, it was reported that 1 billion euros of the German share was earmarked for Tesla, which the German ministry initially did not confirm. Everything was going as planned, but some of the recent reports coming from Germany and Tesla's sideshow that there has been some change of plans in the battery factory. Tesla recently reported that it has withdrawn its application for state aid for its battery factory near Berlin, as Tesla has opposed all subsidies. The European Union has approved the plan for giving aid in January to Tesla, BMW, and others in order to support production of electric vehicle batteries and reduce imports from China. The European Union offers a set of funding opportunities for battery-related projects, which are considered important for the economy or which are in line for the environmental goals. Under the funding plan approved by the European Union, Tesla was expected to receive 1.14 billion euros funding for its battery plant in Grudenheim, Brandenburg, with a final decision likely by the end of the year. Tesla has informed the Federal Ministry of Economics and the Brandensburg Ministry of Economics it is withdrawing its IPCEI application for the state funding for the battery factory in Grudenheim. A Tesla spokesperson said, referring to European subsidies allocated to so-called important projects of common European interest. However, the spokesperson also confirmed that the production plans will not be affected by this decision. In response to a Twitter user after Tesla announced that it had withdrawn its application for funding, Musk tweeted, it has always been Tesla's view that all subsidies should be eliminated. But that must include the massive subsidies for oil and gas. For some reason, governments don't want to do that. Musk added, deviating from the subject of the factory grant. According to the German Economy Ministry, estimation, Tesla is going to invest about 5 billion euros in the battery plant. In addition, construction of the car production site alongside the battery plant has made some good progress in the last few weeks. According to a regional government's website, Tesla has also applied for regional funding from Brandensburg. The amount Tesla applied for is not disclosed, but investments worth over 100 billion euros are generally given 6.8% of their value. As per Brandenburg Economy Ministry, this application has not been withdrawn. The German government confirmed recently that Tesla was no longer seeking the subsidies, but declined to comment further. Tesla is still sticking to its plans for the Brandenburg battery factory said the German Economics Ministry, adding that the state subsidies not used by Tesla are now available for other projects. Furthermore, the final round of public consultation and concerns for the environment about the car factory and battery plant were closed recently, and Musk has stated that he has high hopes to begin the production by the end of this year and then ramp up as quickly as possible. Musk has made his irritation for German laws and processes known saying in a letter to authorities in April that the country's complex planning requirements are at odds with the urgency needed to fight climate change. Tesla's move to withdraw the application looks pretty strange, especially because the plans about building the factory really did not change. Some people are suspecting that it is a price to pay to get the overall green light for the investment, acting a shield from unions, or it's also possible that Tesla is not into dealing with some potential new drama related to subsidies. In the company's first quarter 2021 earnings call in April, Elon Musk announced that the company is not more than 18 months away from the volume production of new cells. So if the company really achieves its mission of building a new battery factory, then you will be able to buy a Tesla with a price similar to gasoline vehicles, and it will be another huge drift for Tesla as well. And this was it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Do you think Elon Musk will be able to open Giga Berlin without any more delays and problems? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. And thank you for watching.